What is up guys, my name is Up on there and today we have a new tutorial. Yes, I am back. Uh, my microphone broke a few months ago and I just got a new mic and yes, we're back with a new tutorial. So I made this wallpaper, well, it wasn't meant to be a wallpaper, it was meant to be a YouTube one channel design banner and it turned out to be a cool looking banner so I thought why not apply it as a wallpaper. So I applied it and yes, it looks uh, pretty cool. So I thought why not teach it to you guys and make the tutorial of it. Uh, so yes, this is the wallpaper. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create it. So we're going to be using the uh, the YouTube recommendation for the uh, banner size and so on. So banner size in total is 2120 by 1192. So 2120 by 1192. Just so that we get through the tutorial really, really quickly, I'm not going to be naming any layers and stuff, and it's going to be very disorganized, but hopefully you guys get what I'm trying to do from, well, looking at the video. Um, so yeah, we've created the canvas, which we're going to be working on later. So we're going to be creating the canvas for the banner itself, the middle bit that, uh, which, well, the, the stuff that you actually want. So the recommendation of the size of the banner bit, er, the logo safe area, I think they've called it, is 2120 by 350. So it's 2120 by 350. Oh, oops, 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 oops. Go back, go back. 2120 by 350. All right, so we've got the canvas for the banner. Uh, we're going to be coloring in the banner black, so I'm guessing you guys know how to do that. Color black, the paint bucket fill tool, uh, and just click on here, make it black. Then go to filter, filter gallery, and under the texture tab, click grain. Uh, as you can see, it makes the whole black kind of grainy, and uh, it kind of gives it a really cool texture, which uh, in my opinion is the best out of all of the textures in the texture tab. So once we've got this, uh, we're going to be bringing in the first external uh, stuff, the content, and it's going to be this galaxy, this cool picture of a galaxy, which I'm assuming someone made, considering there's a, um, yeah, there's a tag at the top. So bring that in. Uh, we're going to be centering it up at the start, just so we have a bright a logo when we first create it. So uh, I'm going to type in get text tool click text, the T, the text tool I'm guessing it's called, and type in the stuff that you want to type. So that's, in my case, I'm going to be writing A-T-L-S-M-E, which is my gamer tag. Um, so once you've written that, you want to click the tick at the top and go to the magic wand tool. And while doing, make sure when you click this, click shift as you're doing this. So it clicks, it selects multiple shapes and once you've done that, go back to layer one, which is the layer of which the layer which contains the image, and click Control X. And now you've cut out the shape from the image. Just going to hide that text layer there, and delete this layer, and bring back the cut image, which is um, well, yeah, the the text which we cut out earlier. And as you can see, it just cuts out the part of the image and brings it on here. So control V paste and I'm going to bring back the image, this image. So copy again. Oops, oops, oops. Uh, come back. Control V. Bring it so that uh, make sure the text, the image layer is below the layer which contains the text and make sure that you align it so that it, it kind of contrasts with the text. So you don't, you don't want it to be like that where it's just, uh, you, you can't really make out the text. Uh, and stuff. So once you've brought that up there, uh, go to the t uh, text style and click lighter color. So as you can see, it just makes the black areas of the image uh, darker so it blends in with the green background. So once you've got that, you want to kind of uh, blur out or erase in this case the edges of the image so it kind of blends in. Uh, you, you can can't really tell if that's part of the background or or it's, if it's just it's just there at the start. So once you've got that, you've pretty much got what you really need. Uh, make sure you change the uh, the layer type of the text to uh, linear dodge add. So as you can see, it kind of brings out the contrast. It makes it a little brighter. 
stands out better and stuff like that. So you've pretty much got the banner and you want to just merge the visible layers. And this is the banner. Now I'm going to bring this across to the canvas, which is supposed to be our background. Now we want to align this in the middle of these two corners. So as you can see, this line here, is, the height of the whole image is approximately 42. Uh, I don't know what it's measured in, to be honest. Uh, so if you guys know what it's measured in, please tell me. I really want to know what it's measured in. And just bring it to the middle. So that's going to be 21. And make sure the edges kind of lock into place. You don't want it to kind of drag out and leaving you a white space on the right hand side. So once you've got that, you've got your banner placed. The next bit is adding a gradient. Um, this is really, really easy. All you need to do is get the rectangular marquee tool, which is uh, second from the top, and draw a box from the area of your banner, and click on the brush tool, and make sure the settings of the brush are set to 400 pixels, being the size, and hardness being zero, and in the brush type, I'm guessing, uh, make sure it has the blurred edges rather than the really sharp and opaque um, edges and the brush. Uh, so once you've got that, uh, click, make sure it's kind of just away from the uh, edge of the banner and click shift while you're doing this so you get a straight line, just bring it, just bring it across and you should get an image there and according to how even the image is, you might want to bring it across to make it a little darker uh, to make sure that the black areas kind of uh, balance out. I'm doing this really quickly and you guys will probably have a lot more time than I do whilst doing this to make a much better gradient. Uh, at least hope you do. Um, duplicate the layer, so you want to get the same gradients at the bottom as well. So that's really easy. Duplicate layer, Control T which is the transform tool and just bring that across. It should lock in at uh, 180 degrees uh, okay, it doesn't lock in. If it doesn't lock in, just click Shift and just bring that to the bottom and just align it with the banner, which is just about there. And that will do for the gradient. As you can see, the gradient kind of makes the, uh, the banner stand out. It kind of distinguishes the banner from the background. And now we've pretty much got the base stuff that we need. Now just make the background black and we're going to be pretty much doing the same stuff we did to the banner which is uh, using the green, um, green texture on the background and bringing in some cool looking galaxies and nebula explosions and so on into the picture. So once you've got that, and make sure that your layers that you created before are above the, um, yeah, are above the picture that you just copied in so that the picture doesn't cover the image like so. so once you've got that, uh, yeah, make sure it's there. Once you've got that, you want to apply the same uh, layer type, which is lighter color. And as you can see, the image is kind of taking shape. And uh, you pretty much want to do the same stuff you did to the banner, which is edging out. What? Well, no, blurring out the edges. Uh, so it kind of blends in. And bringing in a few, uh, maybe two or three pitch images, if you want, into the image. And we are pretty much nearing the end of the tutorial. Lighter colour and yeah this is pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. I know it's kind of, it's kind of long, uh, I don't know how, how much it was, how long it was. It was it's around nine minutes. So I hope you guys did like this tutorial. If you did please do click the subscribe button for more tutorials like this. Uh, yeah and I'll see you guys in the next video.